Hello everyone. Today we will be demonstrating the anatomical snuff box. Uh, it is called this because in the past this was used to hold the snuff before inhaling via the nose. Uh, the anatomical snuff box is an elongated triangular depression on the wrist on the posterior lateral side of the wrist. It is best seen when the thumb is hyperextended. Now we will be demonstrating the boundaries of the anatomical snuff box. Anterolaterally you have the tendon of abductor pollicis longus, the tendon of extensor pollicis brevis, then posterior medially you have the tendon of extensor pollicis longus. The floor is formed by the scaphoid, trapezium and the base of the first meta metacarpal. This, uh, the roof is formed by the skin and superficial fascia. It is limited above by the styloid process of the radius. Now I am going to tell the contents of the anatomical snuff box. First is the radial artery. It passes deep through the anatomical snuff box on the dorsal surface of scaphoid and trapezium and then passes forward into the palm of hand. Second is the cephalic vein. It lies on the superficial surface and it runs from medial to lateral. Third is the terminal branch of superficial radial nerve which runs from lateral to medial side. Now I will tell the clinical aspects of anatomical snuff box. First, the pulsation of the radial artery can be felt in the anatomical snuff box. Second, the tenderness in the anatomical snuff box indicates the fracture of scaphoid bone. Third, the cephalic vein in the anatomical snuff box is often used for giving the intravenous